Assalamu alaikum guys. The reader name is The Mystery of Soul by Lori Kabutsel, illustrated by Xavier Bonnet. Characters Narrator Soul Eva Cherry Prince Kana Loni Act 1 Scene 1 Narrator The children are in class. Soul and Loni are new at the school. Ever since they arrived, Eva, Eva has been watching them. They are acting strangely. The teacher tells them there is going to be a test. She tells the students to put their books away. So to himself while looking all around. Where do I put my books? I can't see where the other students have put their books. Eva, whispering, they go under here. Look, on this shelf, under your desk. Haven't you sat at a desk before? So embarrassed. Of course I have. Oh, yes, I know what to do. Thank you. Narrator. The test began. Soul. To Loni. I finished the test. Let's go. Loni. Okay. Narrator. Loni and Soul leave the classroom. Eva. To Cherry whispering. Where are those two going? The test doesn't finish for another 10 minutes. They didn't even ask Miss Lela if they could leave. Cherry, whispering, I don't know. They don't seem to understand how things work in school. Nar narrator, the teacher tells Eva to go and bring Sol and Loni back to the classroom. So she runs after them down the hallway. Eva, where are you going? So I finished the test. I was going to have some tea. Eva, surprise, you can't just leave the classroom for tea whenever you want. You have to wait for, for the teacher to say you can go. So confused, why? I had finished the test. Eva, yes, but that's not how school works. There are rules. Loni, how do these rules work? Tell me about them. Eva, what do you mean? They work like the rules in all schools. What was it like at your old school? So, at my old school, we did things differently. Loni, yes, my old school was very different from this one too. Eva, but you must have had rules. All schools have rules. So, yes, of course, we had rules. In etiquette class, we learned about rules. We learn who you go to and which fork to use when you sit down to dinner. Yes, we had lots of rules everywhere. You looked was another rule. I was surprised. Fox Boeing, what is this adequate class you're talking about? We don't have classes like that. We don't have a class to learn about rules. We're just supposed to know them. Like you should know that if you have to leave the classroom, you must ask the teacher first. You can't just get up from your seat and leave. Loni, okay, I understand it now. We must follow the rules. We didn't learn that at our old school. We won't make that mistake again. Eva, confused. But I thought you two came from different schools. I thought you met here. 
Loni, nervous. Yes, yes. We went to different school in very different places, but it looks as it, if both schools fail to teach us the right rules. But now we know. Thanks to you. What's your name? Eva. My name's Eva. So thank you so very much, Eva. You have helped us a lot. Act one, scene two. Narrator. It's lunch time and the children are eating at the outdoor tables. Cherry and Eva are watching Soul and Loni at the other table. Eva confused. What are they doing, Cherry? It looks like Loni has brought lunch for Soul. Is that a tablecloth? Eva, yes, he's put out a tablecloth and a plate and silverware, Cherry. Oh, look, Loni is serving Soul. It looks like some nice food. You should serve me food sometimes, Eva. Eva, that's very odd indeed. Cherry, I don't know. It looks as if Loni has brought food for Sol. That was nice of him, wasn't it? Why are you so interested? Eva, there's something funny going on here. Did you see what happened in class? Cherry, you mean when they left without asking? Eva, and how he couldn't find where to put his books before the test? Sol didn't know how to use a desk. It's as if he's never been to school before, Cherry. His old one must have been very different. Eva, and what's going on with Loni? He said they only met each other yesterday. Now it's like they have been friends their whole lives. They are a strange sort of friends too. Cherry, why? What's strange about it? Eva, he put out Sol's food for him. It's like it's his job. There's something going on here. Cherry, laughing. Oh, Eva, not everything is a mystery of detective ever to solve act one scene three narrator cherry is working in the library eva comes rushing up to her holding open a newspaper she is very excited eva look at this look what i found cherry i can't see anything to get excited about Eva, look closer. Look at that photo. Cherry, looking closer at the newspaper. Well, that looks a bit like, like Sol. Eva, oh Prince Solomon, as the newspaper calls him. That's why Sol is acting so oddly. Our Sol is a prince. Of course, he doesn't understand how a normal school works and Loni must be here to look after him. He is Prince Solomon's servant. Cherry, let me see that newspaper again. Do you really think Sol is Prince Solomon? It says here he is from the kingdom of Savava and he has gone missing ever. He is the first son of the king. Are you saying that boy in our class is going to be a king ever? Yes, that's exactly what I think. 
But why is he hiding here at our school? Why did he run away from home? I told you there was a mystery here and I am going to find out what this is all about. The Savava Times The Prince is Missing Act 1 Scene 4 Narrator Eva and Cherry take the newspaper and set off to find Loni and Sol. They don't have to look far. They bump into Loni outside the library and show him the newspaper. Eva, look at this Loni. We know your secret. Sol is a prince. Loni laughing, don't be silly, Eva, that's not soul. Cherry, Loni, anyone can see that is a photo of soul. We know now, soul is Prince Solomon. Loni whispering, okay, okay, I give in. You're right, but we must keep it a secret. The prince is trying to learn about ordinary people. He will soon be king and he wants to understand how ordinary people live. Shh. Eva. But this newspaper report says that his family are looking for him. Why didn't he tell them what he was doing? Loni, the king would not like it. He would be worried about the prince, so we told no one, and this is why we must keep it a secret. Can you keep our secret? Cherry, yes, I can keep a secret. How very excited having a prince at our school. Eva, okay, Loni, we'll keep your secret. Now you'd better go back to Seoul. Cherry, watching Loni walk away. I wonder if I could get my photo taken with Seoul before he leaves. I'd like to get my photo taken with a real prince. Eva, we have more to worry about than photos. Cherry, Something is not right here. I don't think Loni is telling us the whole truth about Prince Solomon. We need to find out what is going on.